Guilt and anger. Are you struggling with guilt and or anger? If you are struggling with either or both of these very powerful emotional responses to the death of your loved one, you're not alone. And while it may seem odd, it's important to bring these feelings to the Lord. Pray and take your guilt and anger to the foot of the cross and leave them with Jesus. Regret, guilt, and anger are three emotions that can create barriers that hinder you from experiencing the peace and healing God has for you. If you're facing these obstacles or others, it's to recognize them as tools the enemy wants to use to separate you from the healing hands of Jesus. What is false guilt? False guilt is assuming responsibility for something over which you have no control. If you're constantly thinking, if only I had, please remember three things. 1. God knows it all. In Psalm 139 16, it says, Your eyes saw my unformed body, all the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to be. God knows exactly when we will take our first breath and when we will take our last. He is the author of his life. Job, after he lost everything he had, including his family, says, the Lord gives and takes away. The Lord knows everything that will happen in our life before we're even born. He knows the day we're going to die before we were born. Therefore, there isn't anything we can do to extend our life if the Lord wants to call us home. 2. We can't live in a what-if world. We must live in the what-is world. May we not walk through life looking down but up, not looking behind but ahead. Hebrews 11 1 tells us, faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. 3. It's okay to heal and experience joy again. Grieve conflicted relationships. Grieving conflicted relationships can be very difficult. Whether you need to forgive or seek forgiveness, let God guide you through the process. Forgiveness is an event and a process, and it is only by the grace of God that we can forgive and be forgiven. Remember Jesus' words in Matthew 6:15, but if you do not forgive men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. Are you angry with God? Take your heartfelt anger to God, let Him show you how to deal with your anger and find the peace and healing that only He can provide. Ephesians 4:26 says, Be angry, and do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your wrath. Pause slash pray. Find a quiet place to pray, somewhere with no distractions and no one around. If you need to cry, cry. If you need to yell, yell. God wants this with Him to be real, authentic, and intimate. Find your prayer closet, prayer park, or prayer spot so you can be alone with Him. Practice. Keep a journal and write your feelings down. You'll be incredibly surprised after some time goes by and you look back to see where the Lord has brought you in your grief. Your eyes saw my unformed body. All the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to be.